guys, I'm Rexa TPS, and today I'll be putting this up on YouTube as, alongside my Enfield. Uh, it's my first or joint first gun review of the M4 two tone orange and black. Um, as far as I know, you can only get it in two tone orange and black. It's entire the entire body of it's plastic, um, and I got it from Just BB Guns, where the link to that will be on our website. Uh, it'll take you to their website onto this gun exactly. Uh, if in future videos you want us to put the link to that. To, this, to the gun I'm doing in the uh, description, instead of just being on the website, then please put that in the comment section below, and I'll get into that. Um, so yeah, let's start from the front then, it's all plastic as I said, the barrel is, is all one body gun, so the barrel doesn't screw off, the uh, stock doesn't come off like it does in the electric M4, which will be a later date, but um, yeah, it's all one body. These two parts is uh, split in half, okay, so you could take the top and ha bottom half of it off, but it just reveals a barrel underneath, I think it's an unjamming mechanism, but I've never jammed this gun, so I... I've never had to use it for that. Um, you pull this black part here back, and then you'll be able to take them off. Um, moving on then, we've got the mag release on the right of the gun there, like that, and it just pushes this black part out and the magazine will fall out, so make sure you have your hand on it as you pull it out, or underneath it to catch it. Uh, moving to the left of the gun then, uh, it's on safety at the moment, as you can see, right, that's because the arrow there, you have a little arrow at the uh, uh, one end of this circle. If it points to the barrel, and this long bit here points to the stop, you're on safety, and if it points up or vice versa to the first, it's on fire. Okay, where the uh, arrow will point to the stock and the long part will point to the, to the uh, barrel. Um, okay, so moving on to the cocking mechanism, mechanism will be this part here. Just index finger, middle finger to the clicks. Okay, real simple on that. Um, you got that part, the side, the rear side, where you can push that down and you'll have the smaller version or the larger version depending on how you're aiming and how the stock is because last part then on the body of the gun will be the stock you push this part up and you can extend it to four sizes that's the furthest one second third fourth okay now you'll notice uh, it can get well that's, that's in place that but sometimes you'll get it where it's like flimsy okay just push it and it'll go into place if you don't want it on that one the first one just mess around with it it's up to you whatever is more comfortable mine's the furthest that one but whatever one's more comfortable with the uh, user. Now, moving on to the mag. We got on this, same as the end field, uh, you've got the part here which you can pull down and hook to the right, okay, and that'll stay there. And then in the back there, you pull that out, tip the BBs in, you can have quite a few in there, how many exactly I can't tell you, but there are, they can fit quite a lot. And anyway, once you do that, then you close that bit up and just do that, keep shaking that where the bullets will fall down about here somewhere. Uh, into a hole and they'll keep shaking toward the uh, front part allowing more bullets to fall. This isn't highly reliable sometimes I'll bear only get like four bullets after about 30 seconds of shaking it so if that happens just pull it down and hook it. There's a part on the left here of the mag or your right um, or there's a little part there behind the uh, part where the bullets go in. There's a part right there where if you push that to the board the back or, or that toward the back or whatever there we go like that then you can just put them in or tip them in if you've got the speed reloader like. So you could do that if it don't work. Um, so yeah, that just slots in, you know, I'm yeah, sure everyone's seen it M4. That'll click in, that's exactly what it looks like then. And it's not a bad uh, piece of kit, it's I think about 35 odd pounds, I think, um, on the website. So on their website, not ours, we don't sell guns on ours. We just get the guns and then tell you about them just in case you're looking into getting them. Because this one, uh, this one, the M4, I'm pretty sure doesn't come with a review on their website. So, yeah, if you're thinking about getting that gun uh, and you want to see what it's like, I will tell you now, I'll do this for my other gun reviews. So if you want to know, if you're thinking about getting a gun, any of the ones behind me which are on that website which you've seen, or if you're thinking about getting a gun and like maybe if you've got the 4G on your phone or something where you can get internet wherever you are and you're at a market and you see one of these guns like, uh, for instance, that gun, that gun, that gun, you can get those guns, uh, that one, you know, these are really, round in the middle areas, really common in markets, so, or uh, off websites, I mean, that one's off a website, I think, I'm pretty sure that's off just BB guns as well, and that is, and that is, a lot of them are just BB guns, some of them are only, I've only seen, like the Star 45 at the end, I've only seen at market, so, you know, if you're at a market, you see what, say, for instance, a Star 45, uh, look for our channel. If we haven't posted a re uh, review on that, I do apologise, but we can put them up upon request. So make sure you put that in the comment section or email us through our website or uh, hit us up on Twitter or Facebook, okay? So, 
I've been Rap for TTS. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to keep uh, updated on our videos that we'll be doing, okay? Thank you very much for watching.